welcome to today's video. Today we are at the Brighton Caravan and Motorhome Club and I am going to show you around. And real quick before we start here, if you like this video, why not go ahead and click that thumbs up button. And if you really like the video, head over and subscribe to the channel. The Brighton Caravan and Motorhome Club site is situated close to Brighton itself and gives easy access to the main seafront, all that that has to offer and also Brighton Marina. More on that later, but let's have a look at the arrival. And the arrival road is a road called Wilson Avenue and you turn into the entrance near East Brighton Park. And this is the road in and first impressions are of curiosity as to what these vans are parked up here. Some of which look like they've been there quite a while and perhaps are living there. We asked reception who mentioned they're always there but are as good as gold so there are absolutely no issues. And there is a decent area to park up in while we are waiting to check in. And a quick look at the entrance again and also here is the reception area. So this is a quite a large caravan and motorhome club site so we are going to do today's site walk by bike so welcome to the site bike. So we are starting at reception and up on the right there is the first of the amenity blocks before we pass through the barrier here. And this is mainly a one way site so we are going to do a circuit showing you as much as possible on the way. Here on the right is the other amenity block. And this area through here seems quite peaceful, or it was when we stayed here. And just to the left here where this man is walking, that path takes you down to the amenities block we have just passed. Let's continue around. And this is where we are parked, just here on the left. We are now making the final ride back through the park toward reception where we started. There we go, that was the site ride or cycle or bike. Let's, <clears throat> let's now check out the facilities. There are two amenities block. The first one is one end of the park near reception and the other is nearer the middle of the park. And the showers are pretty standard for caravan and motorhome club sites. And we were pleased to see normal taps instead of the ones you have to keep pushing. The only downside for me was that there was no seat or bench which is handy to have. But here is a ringing endorsement. 
How was your shower? It was amazing. Was it good? You cannot be a constant hot running of I water. Know. Just like you don't have to stop. The water runs out, you don't have to press a button and wait and it was instant hot water. None of this pressing buttons stand back while freezing cold water comes in. It was just hot water all the time and it was clean, the showers are clean and it was so nice to have a shower down there this morning. Good. If I could stay at a camping a motorhome club every time. Well, would... Most of the time we do. That's a good that's a good that endorsement, honey. And their dishwashing area was inside, which is particularly useful if you visit during the colder months. Clean and tidy, but the water wasn't super hot. And here is the laundry room, a smallish area, just one washer and one dryer, but I think more than adequate for a campground this size. And there is of course the usual motorhome service area. There is a chemical toilet disposal area near the showers, but if you want to give your loo an extra wash, why not let this machine do it for you? And here is the bin area. It's kept really tidy, but they are having problems with foxes overnight. They're trying to overcome, and this was filmed really early, so the staff hadn't had a chance to tidy up yet, but please do not let this put you off. And for the younger ones, there is a small play park with benches. You can keep an eye on them too. And there is an information hut, which at first glance looks great. Although the leaflet display probably does need restocking. On the left here is a coffee cart which sells your usual coffees plus things like pastries and cold drinks and a nice touch, a little herb garden where you can pick any herbs you may need for cooking. And along this footpath there is a walkway to the tent camping field and the glamping pods. This is the tent camping area and up the hill in front of us are the glamping pods. Okay so I think these are the glamping pods. It's very uphill here. There's people in them as well. Yeah pretty nice. It's quite peaceful up here but it's a bit of a walk, a bit of a hike up the hill. They do have their own car park, which I think eliminates most of this hill when you arrive and depart. And Brighton Marina is a 30 minute walk or just a six minute bike ride away, which is a great place for a stroll. Perhaps to grab a drink at one of the local pubs. Or even grab dinner in one of the many restaurants. And a 40 minute walk the other way is the main Brighton seafront with the famous Palace Pier. With it amusements and fun fair rides. We have a lot more coming up on these two places in our next video so don't forget to subscribe to see lots more on this area. If you want to explore other seaside towns, Woking is about a 40 minute drive west along the coast with Eastbourne being just a little bit further the other way. All in all, Brighton Caravan and Motorhome Club site is a great site to visit if you want a bit of tranquility 
with some lively clo places close by. If we are ever staying in the area in the future, we will have no hesitation in staying here again. So that is all from this campsite. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and why not consider subscribing for more things camping and travel related. But until then, we will see you in the next video and happy travels.